three. Action. Okay, what is up, guys? Fahan here with Za once again, and today we have our brother here, Marcus. How are you, man? Hi, nice to meet you. Thank yeah, you so yeah. much nice you. for coming out to do this review with us. And this is Marcus's bike, the F800 GT, yeah. Yeah. So we reviewed the F800 GS, mm -hmm. is the cousin to this bike, part of the parallel twin series of bikes that BMW has came up with. Mm -hmm. this. And from my understanding, this bike is already out of production since yeah. 2018, right? 2017, 2018, I think. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Because it was not very popular. Uh, <laughs> That's why. <what>. Underrated. <laughs> That's why I would say this is an underrated bike, you know. From what I read online, uh, it's a nice bike, beautiful bike, but it's not so as popular as the bigger CC cousins. You know? Yeah, because when people want to buy BMW, they either go S1000 <laughs> or they get the R12GS. But in most of the European countries, it's mm -hmm. actually their TP bike. Yeah. You know, only that this 800cc is actually the limit for some of the countries licensing. Mm. Oh. <laughs> uh, that's what I read. La. That's okay. why in certain bikes, they have like 800cc. Before Marcus tell us the story about his F800 GT, we're going to give a bit of background about it. Eh? Part of the BMW Parallel Twin F series of bikes. The BMW F800 GT is a sport tourer class of motorcycle in production from 2013 to 2018. It is built as an all-rounder motorcycle for both daily commute and long-distance tours. Engine is a 798cc liquid-cooled four-stroke parallel twin-cylinder DHC four valves per cylinder with electronic fuel injection and a six-speed manual transmission. Unlike its F800 GS cousins, the BMW F800 GT is an extremely rare bike on Singapore streets. Alright guys, so shout out to our sponsor, DP Moly. Do check out their online store for awesome motorbike care related products. Support us by clicking on the link below to view the range of products. Or use our promo code upon checking out. Alright, so Marcus, uh, how long have you rode this for actually? I purchased this uh, second hand on uh, 2019 June. Mm -hmm. uh, it was 4 years old back then, so you, this is a 2015 June uh, mm -hmm. bike. Uh -huh. So I got it. Uh, in 2019, so it's, I only about two years already. Wow, ah, years. okay. So why this bike though? <laughs> when I got uh, class two, I wanted to look for something that is like a sports tourer mm -hmm. that looks like sports bike. Mm -hmm. So ah, ah, in, okay. in my mind, there's there's only a few short list lah. It's mm -hmm. like the one is the Honda VFR 800 uh -huh. F, which is uh, in Singapore is the 800 X. That one, that one looks like a it's like looks like a sports bike, but it's an upright sitting posture. Mm. Then the other one is like those Ninja 1000 SX uh, or this. So uh, when I was doing my research, then somehow I just I didn't I also didn't know about this bike. I s s chance upon this bike, then this bike was on on sale. So I just do some reading out, and then I realized it's very very unique mm -hmm. because of the the engine, the the drive train, and mm -hmm. all that. Because it's 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 not using a chain, mm -hmm. it's using a belt. Yeah. Mm. So it's a uh, very low maintenance and all that. So I a bit hipster lah. So I decided to go for that instead of <laughs> instead of the usual like uh, MTO9 tracer and all, mm -hmm, that, mm -hmm. and all this. So you, it makes you feel a bit unique lah. Yes. yes, yes, yes. <laughs> understand. Understand. Yeah. I mean, this is a unique. Of, you know, first impressions of this bike was like it's just the belting, huh? And it's on the other side, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> chain, the chain is on the left. And then mm -hmm. exhaust the drive, but this is the opposite. For for two B bike is the on, only the Aprilia. That one is uh, ah, on the other yes. side. For BMW is the F800 series. The, uh, the the either the chain or the belt is on the right hand side. Mm -hmm. So the, the GS is also the chain is on the this uh, the right hand side. Mm -hmm. it's, it's because of the way the the engine is designed la. This engine is is not made by BMW. Yes. Oh okay. It's mm -hmm. made by this uh, Austrian company called Rotex. They make like a uh, light aircraft engine. So uh. their engineering is a uh, is very top notch. So it's a, it's a oh. very reliable engine. I, I would even say that it's more reliable than the Arch of uh, Boxer engine. Oh okay. Oh, okay. So it's like this you can fly up. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> maybe uh, maybe. Uh. There was one Facebook page. One owner I forgot in which uh. country. His F800 GS travel like seven hundred and seventy seven thousand. Km okay. and only overhaul once. What? <laughs> 700,000 km. 700,000 km? 700,000 km. Uh, not 70 km, not 70,000. 700. I heard yeah, you, bro. Yeah. <laughs> that's quite a wow. distance, actually. Yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. that's impressive, sir. Uh, yeah. yes, so I it's know. a very uh, reliable engine. Although it's a twin engine, it's a mm -hmm. 360 degree twin. So what that means is that the two piston move up and down at the same time. Oh. So normally for the smaller twins like the MTO3, the Z400, mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's like this, yes, uh -huh. 180 uh. degrees. Mm. Then the, your NC750 and the other bigger twins, is uh, they call it the 270 degrees. Mm -hmm. It's like a bit offset. Uh -huh. uh, it's like so, supposedly sound like a V-twin, but mm -hmm. this 360 engine uh, twin sounds like uh, the Boxer engine. Oh, mm. so it, it, you mentioned it moves like this? Yes. Wow. Mm. So one spark, one exhaust, one spark, one exhaust. 
Oh, okay. Yeah. Nah, can go and Google <laughs> the... <laughs> yeah. So the sound is uh, very unique. Eh? And uh, the power-wise, I would say it's uh, comparable to like the MT-09, the Tracer, the Ducati 821, Triumph 800, all the similar CC series. Lah. In uh -huh. fact, on paper, because this engine it produces the maximum torque much earlier in the rev range. Can out accelerate most of the bigger bikes earlier on. Ah, so it's, okay. it's, it's very torquey. Okay. What so about low to mid range? It, uh, low to mid range is, is very good. It's like this, this engine, um, maybe it's uh, for this bike. Lah. I'm not sure about the GS or the other F800. It can go fast, but when you are riding it, you won't feel like going fast. Mm. Yeah, it's like, it's like a gentleman, a chill one. <laughs> uh, you want to push it hard, can mm -hmm. just 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 go ahead but it's like it makes you feel very comfortable and relaxed to to just uh you know uh just cruise and uh, you mean you just open the throttle the next thing you know hey you're 160 ready uh. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> no 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 uh, maybe uh throttle bit okay 90 100 okay, then, enough, then, then don't think so much already yeah, no, because, you want because, to get caught speeding uh. <laughs> you know because if you cruise down the north side highway uh, you just open the throttle and then you never look at the speedometer uh. The next thing you know, eh, sure lah, 100 plus ready, sure. Because I can attest mm -hmm. to certain uh, models uh, mm -hmm. that you don't feel as if you're going fast. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Uh. And the uh, windshield all this is a very good uh, wind protection. Mm -hmm. So you, you don't feel like you are struggling when you are going yeah. going fast. Yeah, mm. yeah. And was, for this bike, the wheelbase is very long. Mm -hmm. mm. The distance between the front and back wheel. Among the sports tourers is it's usually one of the longest wheelbase mm -hmm. meaning it's very stable on straight road yes mm. yeah you, uh, other than the real uh, cruisers mm -hmm. yeah this is one of the most stable bike for for, for cruising or for uh the, on the streets lah. Ah, so okay. for cornering wise still okay you can have, have to get used to it lah, but it doesn't corner as well as the those mt 9 and all that lah, and the sports what bikes. about low speeds mm -hmm. yeah, especially in city traffic in singapore where it's mostly start stop start stop mm -hmm. right? How you reckon she Then you just play clutch only, I don't even throttle. Is it heavy or the clutch? I didn't like the, the stock levers, so I just changed to these this, uh, cheap levers, but mm -hmm. uh, I actually feel more comfortable uh, using them. It's softer also. So talking about start-stop traffic, is the engine hot or not? Not as bad as those uh, inline 4000 cc's, mm -hmm. but it's, it's, it's manageable. You wear jeans and uh, it's, it's not an issue. But also, I can see the fairing uh, is actually covered most part of the, the engine. Yeah, la. so the radiator will channel the heat uh, below uh, away from your legs, mm. la. so, so it's not too hot. Not too hot. No, uh, compared to most of the sports bike, you know, they have uh, an opening at the at the side of the yeah, fairing correct. just to allow air yeah, to move. Have you know? to, have to. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, in city traffic, uh, definitely that the heat is going to burn uh, your so tie, you know. You feel hot in your thigh area. <laughs> yeah. then, uh, mm. what, so, you have to wear a uh, protective gear. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it's also a good thing that the engine, you feel that the engine is hot. Mm. That means that the radiator is working. Throughout your two years of owning this, how is your maintenance schedule like? How often do you go for change and what uh, What are the things you change? So normally I change oil uh, every 5,000 km. Uh, oil filter every two oil change. Mm -hmm. I do most of this uh, maintenance uh, myself. Oh, okay. Yeah, I uh, <laughs> also change my brake pad myself, spark plug myself, huh? battery oh. myself. You do yourself, uh, bro? Ah, yes, yes. Oh, shoot, man. Whatever I can do, I just do myself. Yeah, la. <laughs> okay, oh, la. I don't even dare to touch my bike. Okay, so, uh, don't mind me asking, if you do it yourself, right? Uh, where you learn it from? Is it YouTube or what? A bit from YouTube, forums, and uh, because since young, I've been quite hands on for this kind of a mechanical things. Mm. So just learn a bit, then you. So how many engine oil uh, this one consume? Uh, with oil filter change is 3 litres, so 3 bottles. Without mm -hmm. is uh, 2.7 litres. So the maintenance is even uh, less than a Super 4. <laughs> <laughs> that is surprising for a 800cc BMW. Yeah. yeah. Uh, because usually they have this reputation for being expensive. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Servicing is, is okay. As long as your proprietary parts don't fail. Maintaining a BMW or any other Continental bike is it's more or less the same. Ah, yeah, and, and, and because it's uh, for most uh, class 2 bikes, be it, well, be it Japanese or Continental, it's very rare for, to see them fail. La. Those that you see uh, their bikes need to overhaul and all that, mm -hmm. it's, 
<laughs> Maybe they whack the bike every day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Either that, either that, they already have mod the inside. Yes, yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah. So that's why it, the engine cannot tahan. Yeah, yeah, mm. correct, correct. So no need to mod the engine or whatever lah. Yeah, lah just, yeah. just be it lah. Yeah. <laughs> like you mentioned, the unique thing about this GT is that it uses a belting. Eh? Yes, yes. How about the maintenance for the belting? Is it uh, comparable to using a chain? Or oh, how how often? Uh, we mean, what's change. what's the mileage? You you need to change. So the, uh, the manufacturer's recommendation is mm-hmm. every forty thousand, just change the belt, mm. the the pulley or sprocket lah. Yeah. Uh, no need to change. Okay. But my bike has been six years. The mileage is uh, fifty thousand. Uh-huh. It's still on the stock belt. Ah. Okay. And in the forums in other countries, some people have went like hundred thousand km without without changing the belt. Mm. So oh, wow. I. So for the belt, no need to loop, no need to clean, mm-hmm. no need to tension. Yep, I love that. <laughs> yeah. And it's not like the those uh, scooter CVT belt. They wear much faster because of the way uh, the CVT works. Lah. Yes, the, yes. the wear is on the outside in. Ah, yes. Yeah, but this belt is just like the, the, the chain. Mm. But apparently the material used is uh, those uh, like bulletproof Kevlar or Kevlar. something like that. <laughs> yeah, so you have to do your own uh, this uh, monitoring. Lah. Mm-hmm. So to see whether the the tension is it off or whether there's any cracks in the belt so but so far i, I haven't noticed anything there's uh, no need to change do you, uh. do you even clean the belting just just wipe la wipe i i don't even know <laughs> <why, laughs> uh. well, i don't, don't, even... don't do anything yeah la, that's, that's the thing i like about belt because you know yeah. rear part your your wheels your rim you know will be still clean no yeah, you don't yeah, have yeah. to uh, not as dirty as uh, those uh, chain chain, chain, chain loop yeah. la, then the yeah. loop was still everywhere <laughs> yeah 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 that, that's actually good la. Yeah. <laughs> i'm surprised that it's still on his stock belt actually <laughs> how big is the fuel tank and uh, how far can you go on a fuel tank the fuel tank is a bit small for this one it's mm-hmm. only 15 15 meters, okay. okay yeah but it's actually quite fuel efficient i'm normally getting about 22 km per liter 22 km per liter so if according to my nets slightly above 300 uh, you know too bad eh? very good eh? yeah i mean cannot compare to nc la, uh, but yeah, it's, it's better than the uh, mt09 uh, tracer la, <laughs> okay, okay. or triumph la. <laughs> you know you know bro you really open up my eyes about this bike i mean it's so sad that it's, there's not much around of it you know i like i just yeah. like the the way the profile of the bike you know mm. yeah. you know it's it's slim mm, yeah, the that's the thing nice, uh, compared to the the bigger cc the thousand thousand two uh, yeah. it's like and the seat height, is, seat height is very low also. So many, uh, like, I, m- mostly I see this bike in the, those uh, uh, European countries, uh, those uh, forums and Facebook pages. A lot of uh, ladies uh, ride this bike. Oh, okay. Oh, what about in Singapore? Though? How many? <laughs> I don't know, man. I think less than five. Uh. <gasps> see this, uh, bro? Yeah. Uh, no, no, nobody buy it because may, maybe like if you're in the market for a BMW, you'll just go for an S1K or, <laughs> or an R12 GS. So, so when this was in production, right? Is it, uh, did PMI bring in this bike actually? Yeah, yeah, this is an agent bike. Yeah, I think all the way until 2015, 2016. I see. Very sad, la, yeah. For a well-engineered machine mm. to not have been popular in Singapore. La. Yeah. If, do you, if you bring this to BML, uh, uh, do you think they will be like surprised? Hey, this thing is still around. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I did went there once to replace my uh, this uh, throttle position uh-huh. sensor. Oh, okay. I had some issues with my uh, TPS and I went to a few shops and they didn't know what to do with it. So uh-huh. and now I still had to bring it to PML to, to sort it out. Uh. Uh, once on, this is only one sm- small uh, issue. Mm-hmm. Uh, apparently, it's... It, it's quite common for the F800 platform, mm. according to the PML uh, mechanic. But other than that, uh, the engine and, uh, and everything else is uh, n- not much issues. Ah, okay. So during throughout your two years of ownership, and it doesn't bring you give you any problem to the engines, ah? No, no, mm. not at all. Yeah. How about the previous uh, owner? Has he mentioned anything about the? Bike problems? Uh, not there, no. Because I, when I took over, it was mm-hmm. uh, four years old. Mm-hmm. But the mileage was only like twenty three thousand oh. km. So okay la. considered uh, <laughs> still baby, still, still, still oh, what, to a motorbike twenty thousand is like ah nothing lah. Yeah, <laughs> guy, maybe this one is his spare bike or something. Oh, yeah, maybe, maybe lah. Yeah. Uh, okay. So okay. I can clock twenty thousand km in less than a year. So. <laughs> <laughs> this is your daily lah. Yes, this is mm. my daily. Uh, uh, yeah. As as a daily, is it uh, convenient? suitable for daily rides you know? mm-hmm. uh, I would size, say yeah. yes because I normally ride with my panniers on so even that mm-hmm. I don't find it a problem mm-hmm. but of course I mean, uh, you have to take care during lane splitting mm-hmm. but other than that I try not to lane split too much also yeah I just uh, ride chill lah. so let's talk about accessories for your bike right now oh, this nice aero exhaust over here 
Is this yours or did yeah, you? The previous owner put it. Yeah, most of the accessories is done by the previous owner. The the air exhaust, the RNG uh, mm -hmm. engine guards, and this uh, the windshield is also not stock. It's a it's a taller aftermarket windshield. Oh, okay. mm. Yeah. What's this though? Uh, this is just my uh, the the volt meter meter and the oh, switches. Okay. It's very unique volt meter. I never seen this before, man. <laughs> Buy from my Ali Express. Huh? Oh, but nice. Eh? You see the volt meter like very small, very. Yeah, ugly. like the Koso that kind. Ah, that's why. No, no. I noticed that you would have some stickers from Thailand. You know. Is, yeah, did you bring it, it to I, Thailand? Yeah, I, I went to Thailand once with this bike. Ah, okay. So I I bought it in 2019 June. Mm -hmm. So shortly after. Uh, I, I brought this to Thailand with a group of friends. I was very fortunate to have made that trip lah because <laughs> the next year was COVID already. At least you get the chance to pay sticker there. Eh? <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> right. <laughs> you still have not yet. I see haven't yet, but the whole bike got go before lah. When you ride uh, to Thailand yes. at the North Side Highway, uh, does, does the bike vibrate a lot? The bike doesn't uh, vibrate a lot when running. It, it vibrates a little when you're not running. Uh, like those car when you uh, do the the touch fighting point, the <laughs> yeah, Other than that, uh, doing when it's uh, riding, cruising, speeding, it's uh, very stable. No, not much of uh, this. Uh, no excessive vibration. Uh. Vibration. Yeah, mm -hmm. one forty, one sixty, one eighty. No, no problem. Mm. This one, I, I personally went up to two twenty. Oh, with. With full load lah, three full three load. boxes and, and and touring stuff. And a pullet, oh. pillion? Ah no, no, just myself. <laughs> and, but at two twenty, does it feel very light? I mean, you know, some bikes at certain speed, you know, you feel like, oh, my, is, I think I need yeah. to slow down. Right, right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because like I earlier mentioned, because this bike's wheelbase is is much longer uh -huh. than uh, than the other other bikes, so it's it's very stable on the street. It's mm. very very stable. I can even hands free mm -hmm. at one eighty. Yes, cruise control, right? Uh, there's no cruise control. Oh. I can just hands free, okay. and then it will still go straight. Wow. It, it, it won't have the this uh, the tank slapper. Mm. Because it, al it also came come with this uh, steering damper mm -hmm. uh, from the factory. Nice. Right. And then at 250, you can fly lah. We <laughs> 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 only until 240 only. <laughs> yeah lah, that's right. 240, then 250. Ah, turbo ah. Hey, you know Zah, I have to say something unique about this bike. You know, just now me and Marcus came here, we uh -huh. came, right? Mm -hmm. On the wheel, uh, there's only single single arm. If you notice, it's a uh -huh. single single arm, lah. But yeah, that's yeah. not what I'm saying. The wheel, uh, actually, uh, the you know, when you the outlet to pump the tire, uh, the tire. Oh, okay. okay. On the rim, no. That's on the spoke, man. The on the, spoke, on the yeah. spoke, sorry, on the rim, lah. On the spoke. That is like, very unique, <laughs> no, and very mm -hmm. convenient. Yep, yep, yep. I have to say uh. that. <laughs> yeah, it also has the inbuilt the this uh, tire pressure monitoring system. Ah, oh, wow. okay. So you know how to pump your fuel and all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh. tire, sorry. So last time, uh, my this tire kena the nail. Mm -hmm. Then uh. suddenly my dashboard start blinking red. Oh, <laughs> oh, then at least okay. I know, hey, eh, it's my it's my tire that's that's good. Like, <laughs> cotton and, and nail. As with the F eight hundred GS, the fuel cap is also on the side here. Mm -hmm. Ah, yes. Yeah. So very oh, yeah. easy to 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 pump lah. Yeah. So I I normally have my this uh, the tank the tank, tank right back. here. Uh -huh. So no need to remove the tank back to access the the fuel. Uh, how many years you left? Four years, right? Four years, yes. Uh, so uh, going forward, your plans with it. Your the plans with it. I think everyone you interview will say is uh, oh I will renew the CO. <laughs> <laughs> it's true lah because I I see no point in. Uh, in uh, selling this bike or, or whatever, I will continue to renew the COE. Mm -hmm. uh, whether I will still ride as often as I do right now. Mm -hmm. like even if next time I have a family, I have a car, mm -hmm. uh, this will still be my uh, personal commute. Lah. You know, during the morning rush hour, definitely this bike will help you like zoop, cut through the <laughs> traffic. traffic <laughs> <lah>. <laughs> can, can, but I try, I try not to, not to speed. Lah. Mm. But it, it's very uh, comfortable on the expressway. So you get a lot of looks uh, with this bike when you're on the road. I, I have uh, some nice traffic light got other bikers give me thumbs up. Uh. Got one time I was on the expressway, mm -hmm. I overtake this Volkswagen Golf GTI. Uh -huh. Then the, the fella wind down the windshield and, and then give me thumbs up. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he also own, own this bike. Uh. Maybe, yeah, maybe. <laughs> then yeah. it's very rare to see this bike on the road. <laughs> yeah, it's really rare. This is my fact, my first time seeing it actually. Yeah, it's uh, for some reason it's not very popular, but it's a very reliable bike. Uh. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, like as you say, mentioned that there's one guy in Europe. He 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 owned this bike 
for his, his mileage like 700,000 yeah, yeah. wow it's that's... a GS lah GS uh, but still okay. s- uh, same engine platform same engine lah so, so I guess you know you can you can continue own this for like another 20 years down the road and still <laughs> be as good as it is you know <laughs> yeah 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 hopefully hopefully what is your best memory so far with this bike so uh, definitely will have be the the touring to thailand lah mm-hmm. with my group of friends uh. and uh, how far did how far into thailand did you go that time i went to hajai <laughs> only it's okay i can go further okay uh, as long as got this one uh. Uh, 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 is bragging right uh, that's right uh. <laughs> <laughs> hey thailand uh, yeah you thailand now uh. yeah <laughs> then uh, it's, it's it's always good to have if in our group you have those uh, sports bike or, or mp10 mp09 or mm-hmm. group mm-hmm. Because they will be the one who determine when you stop for fuel, <laughs> <laughs> so you don't have to be the. They consume a higher, uh, yes, correct. higher petrol. Uh, then you and the behind, ah, uh, yeah, you wait for them. Like, you go inside the, the restroom. <laughs> then the, the the GSA will be like, will be like one corner smoking your fuel. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, you guys ask the price, ah? Uh? How much you bought this bag for? I got it when it was four years old. Mm. The hand was about 19,000. Mm. Okay. Yeah, it's not too bad actually. Not too bad? Not yeah, bad. Beamer, eh? for twen- the hand 2015 brand new is 30 plus K lah. Mm. But that was before the ARF hike. Oh, ah, wow, you're see, lucky see, man see. bro. Not lucky ah, because the, 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 the owner sell to me is pro rated man. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, so when they bought the bike, they are, they are very appreciate because of the ARF. Ah, <laughs> I see, I see. Okay, okay. okay. But I still feel that it's a it's a good buy lah. The price is comparable to uh, the this uh, MT09 Tracer. So, Marcus, who would you recommend? I don't know since this bike is on production. <laughs> uh, we, we cannot even find it in Singapore. It is the first time I'm seeing it, but what kind of rider would you recommend the FR GT4? For any rider and uh, especially if those that are vertically challenged because mm-hmm. the the sea height is uh, comparatively lower mm-hmm. uh, among uh, the other bikes in in, oh. in this class ah, okay. yeah, what's your height forget to ask that uh, 178 178 i can yeah, flat foot so for you is comfortable ah uh. mm. can com- i'm more than comfortable yeah, actually, the seat looks lower. i feel as if uh. i forget there's also a low seat option for this mm. so make, making the sea height even lower oh okay okay i think for me i like the design Yeah, I like the design like, as well. Yeah, yeah the design I, is very nice. I have to say, I I like the design as well. And It's I also like the belting. Yeah, <laughs> uh, right, the benefits of having a belt as opposed to a chain outweighs it. Right? Anyway, Marcus has an Instagram page for his bike. Uh, yeah, do do follow me on Instagram. <laughs> yes, you can put it down below lah, just for your reference lah. Uh, yeah, Marcus, thank you so much thank for you. Nice you know, coming yeah. out to review your bike. It's a very rare bike indeed, very exclusive. I you don't see this on the road. Mm-hmm. Singapore, I don't know what, I don't know what you use that. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I would love to see uh, this F800 riders currently owning this bike to actually, you know, come together, come together and then uh, maybe can share Is, stories. Uh, do they come together in the first place? <laughs> uh, I don't know. There's, there's, there's probably no, no group for that other than the general <laughs> BMW riders group, ah. which is mainly full of the, the GS people. Ah, <laughs> I see, I see, I see. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if you are, if you guys, if you are riding one of this machine do put in the comment below section below you know share with us with your experience and yeah. also looking to see the other owners ah. <laughs> <laughs> and no they don't need that any riders want to review that but if us do get touch us on our social media pages below like and share this video with your riding car case and don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to uh, support us as well as our awesome sponsors uh, do check out their um, <laughs> do check out their uh, online store you know for a whole range of awesome motor care products and uh, use our promo code to get uh, 10% off or you can check out their bi-weekly um, promotion for more uh, discounts yeah and that's it for the vlog and we will see you in the next one